And on the line now, there's Johnny Gray. He will face Robert Hyde. Another matchup, Don Schumacher Racing and John Forth Racing. And speaking of John Forrest racing two weeks ago at Topeka was a major moment for them. 15-time NHRA champion John Forrest recorded his first funny car win back in Montreal 24 years ago, and he never looked back. Since then, Team Forrest has amassed 200 wins, and that's more wins than any other team in NHRA history. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> With a stable full of talent, plus up-and-coming drivers in the Force family, this win total should continue to grow for years to come. And is John Force about to add to that today? He bets how long it'll take him to get to 300. Uh, no. <laughs> Look at this, though. The winningest teams in major American motorsports history. Well, Petty any Enterprises, yeah, that, that kind of goes without saying, but now John Forrest Racing is in there at 200. Just getting around, finally, Hendrick Motorsports. Yeah, and just be on that list is very impressive. But 200 wins, uh, that's pretty amazing. And, you know, I, I've done this all my life, and just I know how hard it is to win those races. And I'll tell you what, you got to give uh, credit to all of these teams. Robert Hyde last week with uh, Jimmy Clark, they really had a handle on that car, but Lee Beer had a handle on that car two weeks going to peak off, so they did struggle a little bit here in qualifying, but they can step up. Both John Forrest and Robert Hyde made their first visit to the Indy 500 last week. Oh, Robert Hyde in the pedal pass, let's see where it's going. Oh! A pedal fest over Robert Hyde. That's huge. That is that is big time right there because basically Johnny Gray spun the tires first, and when, since we've got a thousand foot race, it's very hard to get the car to recover enough to drive around another car. Good news for Johnny Gray is shortly after he spun the tires, Robert got in trouble, so he didn't have too big of a lead, but still. You've got to give credit to Johnny Gray. Yeah, it was pretty close about the same point as, as we take another look at it. But still, look at that job that uh, Johnny Gray did right there to drive around. One more look at it. Actually, Robert got so quick the first time. I didn't even see that first one. So Robert did a really good job initially, but then he didn't get to recover on the second time, and that's where Johnny Gray was able to get around. Look how quick he caught the bomb was and went right after the the second time. And then uh, Johnny Gray was able to drive around. You take a look at our Lucas Oil photo finish cam. You're going to see Johnny Gray crossing the stripe just a little over car length over Robert Height. It was like Robert Height jumped out of the throttle three different times. He was leading all the way except at 1,000 feet. That's where it matters. 